Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX, along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we're gonna be learning to make this photo slideshow inside Adobe Premiere Pro, and we're gonna be learning this in a very simple way. So, without any delay. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is I'll right click on the uh, project panel here and create a new item called sequence. So I'll go to the settings and I'll set this to 1920 by 1080p resolution. I, I feel 24 frames is fine and hit OK. I'll name this to slideshow okay so in this sequence the first thing that will add is the background so I have a wooden background image I'll attach the link in the description you can download it for free so I'll drag this onto my first layer here so now we have a wooden background that suits our slideshow is ready and on the top of that I'll be adding an element so I'll drag this wedding uh, transparent image so that uh, it gives you a wedding feel so I'll just select the video and scale this down a bit like this and the next thing that we have to do is create a photo for the slideshow so in order to create a slideshow uh, for the photos that we have right click in the project uh, window and create a color mat hit OK and set the color to white and hit OK so now you have a color mat inside your project and simply drag this onto your timeline onto the top of everything like this so now we'll have to create a photo so we'll have to crop this in order to do that go to the effects panel and type in crop so you have this crop effect in the transform folder of video effects and drag this onto the color mat like this. Once that is done, increase the left value, top value in such a way that you create a rectangle that looks as if, you know, it is the background of a photo and then go to your project folder and in this case I have uh, image of a bride here I'll drag this onto the top of everything like this and we'll have to add this specific image onto the white photo that we have so uh, I'll go to the effects panel and drag the crop effect onto the bride photo as well and then just trim the right side portion where I want to cut the grooms you know groom's portion so I'll cut this video like this by increasing the right value of the crop effect and I'll just scale this image just so that it fits in properly let me adjust the position as well perfect and the next thing that I'll do is I'll click on this T button here on the timeline here so that I create a text I'll type in bright and I'm using this font here uh, you can use any font that you want so I'll just decrease the font size and just center this so now you have a, a photograph created and that we can use for our slideshow so now I'll select all the three images that we used to create this photo and right click on the layers and click on this nest option so that a nested sequence is created. I'll rename this to right photo and I'll hit OK. Now go to the FX panel and type in transform. So you have this transform effect in the distort folder and simply drag this onto your bright photo nested sequence like this and you have this transform effect applied 
So now we'll be using the position scale and rotation parameters to adjust our, you know, our uh, photo. So I'll just scale this down a bit like this and I'll move the position to the left like this and I'll just rotate it in such a way that it it looks something like this okay I'll just move it to the top as well like this and go to around one and a half seconds forward and click on this timer button here for the position and rotation and now move to the first frame and just bring your photo down by, by changing the y-axis parameter and also make sure you change the rotation value to a bit more like this or something like this and I'll move it completely towards you know to the bottom portion of our video and if I start playing this this is how it's gonna come to the top like this and I'll select all of the keyframes here and simply right click and go to the temporal interpolation and change this to ease in so now if I play this this is how it smoothly comes from the bottom perfect so the next thing that we'll have to do is repeat the same thing for the groom as well so I have a video I mean a image of a groom here and I'll repeat the same steps but now you don't have to start it from the scratch what you'll have to do is you have the nested sequence already inside your project and make sure you're in the projects panel here not on the timeline and just right click here and duplicate this and now I'll rename this to groom photo okay now I'll go to the groom photo I'll double click on this or I'll simply drag this onto our timeline and then if I double click on this I'll be able to you know edit our groom's photo here so I'll remove the bride image sorry I'll type in groom here and I'll delete the bride's image and I'll add the groom's image onto the top of everything like this and we'll have to repeat the same thing here just go to the crop effect and simply cut down the you know the portion that you don't need okay I'll just scale this like this so if I go to my slideshow uh, sequence here you can see that we have the um, the nested sequence of the groom as well and just we'll have to repeat the same uh, position changing here and we'll have to animate in such a way that it comes from the bottom just like the other photo is coming let me fast forward this just so that you can have a clear idea so now if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like so now we've animated both the photos of the bride and the groom and now I'll be telling you a different way to generate another photo to slide into our video so I'll right click on the bright photo nested sequence that we created earlier and I'll duplicate this I'll just rename this to center photo and since we have a rectangles in both the cases here now I'll change this to something like a circular um, photo so I'll double click on this I'll remove the bride photo and the bride text and then I'll go to the color mat and delete the crop effect and from the opacity panel I'll click on this create ellipse mask so now an ellipse is created here I'll just make this a perfect circle like this and I have a image of the couple here after the marriage 
so i'll just drag this onto the top of our color mat and i'll select the couple image and click on this create ellipse mask again so now a mask is created for that uh, specific photo and i'll just adjust it like this so that it fits in the complete circle perfect and now we'll be using this as the image in the center so i'll go to my slideshow panel here and as soon as the uh, both the images slide to the top i want this center photo to pop up so i'll drag this at this point here and in order to have a cool transition i'll just go to the effects panel and use any one of the effect so i'll go to the video transitions i'll either use a cross zoom so i'll drag the cross zoom effect from the video transitions onto my center photo here if i start playing this this is how it's gonna look like the image comes from the top like this but i prefer having another effect called iris round so i'll drag this onto the um, center photo here and this is how it's popping up the last thing that we can do is to add the final touches so in order to do that i'll go to the fx panel and type in drop shadow and i'll drag this drop shadow effect onto one of the photo like this and uh, if i zoom in you can see that you know a shadow is applied to the borders of our you know groom layer here groom photo so you can increase the distance of uh, the shadow and tweak the you know angle here based on your requirements so um, you can do this thing and another way to enhance the quality of this effect is to go to the transform effect and uncheck this use sh composition shutter angle and change the shutter angle value to around 150 so that you can see that there is this motion blur appearing when you know our when our photo slides up this gives a natural look to our uh, you know the slideshow and one more thing that you can do is um, you can add a lens flare onto the top of our videos i have a lens flare that i downloaded from production crate i'll add the link in the description you can download it absolutely free in this case i use the lens flare led transition one this is a free one that you can download do check out the pro content if you are interested so if i drag in the lens flare effect and i'll change the blending mode from normal to screen and if i start playing this this is how it's gonna look like perfect premiere pro is all about creativity so you can use different techniques and create a cool uh, photo slideshow i hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on instagram at vfx guy ravi mr zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial